This is the humerus. This is the head of the humerus. It is directed up and medially. This is the bicipital or intertubercular groove. It is surrounded by two tuberosities, the lesser tuberosity, and the greater tuberosity. The bicipital groove consists of three parts, the medial lip, the floor and the lateral lip. The constriction just beyond the head of the humerus is called the anatomical neck of the humerus. The capsule of the shoulder joint is attached to the anatomical neck, except medially where the capsule is attached to the shaft, half an inch below the anatomical neck. The constriction below the head and the two tuberosities, at the junction of the upper end with the shaft, is called the surgical neck of the humerus. It is related to the axillary nerve in the anterior and posterior circumflex humeral vessels. This is the lower end of the humerus. Posteriorly, the lower end consists of the trochlea and the olecranon fossa. During extension of elbow joint, the trochlea articulates with the trochlear notch of the ulna, while the olecranon fossa lodges the olecranon process of the ulna. Remember that the olecranon fossa lies inside the capsule of the elbow joint, but is covered by fat and synovial membrane which separate the fossa from the joint cavity. Anteriorly, the lower end of the humerus consists of the capitulum, the trochlea, the coronoid fossa, and the radial fossa. Notice how the capitulum articulates with the head of the radius. The trochlear articulates with the trochlear notch of the ulna, the coronoid fossa lodges the coronoid process of the ulna and the radial fossa lodges the head of the radius. Remember that the coronoid and radial fossae lie inside the capsule of the elbow joint, but are separated by fat and synovial membrane covering from the joint cavity.